Hi! Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about division rules. The first one that I'm going to be talking about is a pretty simple one, and it touches on rules that I've spoken about before in previous videos. So, basically, an integer is divisible by 2 if its unit's digit is divisible by 2. So, what does that mean? Well, take the number 168. Alright, how can you tell if it's divisible by 2? Well, look at the unit's digit, which is, of course, the 8 in 168. We know that 8 is divisible by 2, right? 2 goes into 8 four times. So since 8 is divisible by 2, we know automatically that the entire integer, 168, is also divisible by 2. This is true for any number, no matter how large it is. It could be 1,168. As long as the unit's digit is divisible by 2, we know that the entire integer is divisible by 2. Now this is important for prime numbers, which I've also talked about in previous videos. Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by themselves and 1. Okay? The GRE test take, testers love prime numbers. Okay, So you should understand them and be familiar with them. It's good to know that 2 is the only even prime number. So, if you can look at a number and know that it's divisible by 2, you'll know automatically that it's not a prime number. And a lot of the time the GRE, you'll, on the GRE you'll see questions like, which one of these is a prime number? So if you can look at a, t a number and see that it's divisible by 2, you'll be able to, know, to do away with that answer, that option, because you'll know that it's not a prime number. So remember this rule. Whenever the unit's digit is divisible by 2, the integer is divisible by 2. Alright, so the ne next division rule, I'm going to go ahead and switch to green screen because it's easier to explain that way. Division rule number 2. An integer is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Well, if we look at 6,396 and want to know if it's divisible by 3, we can just add 6 plus 3 plus 9 plus 6 equals 24. 24 is divisible by 3. Rule number 3. An integer is divisible by 4 if its last two digits form a number divisible by 4. We can see an example of this in 816. 816 is divisible by 4 because 16, the number formed by its last two digits, is divisible by 4. Alright, so I'm going to bring my face back really fast for rule number 5. Partly because they thought you might like a switch, and also because it's a pretty simple rule. Basically, an integer is divisible by 5 if the unit's digit is a 5 or a 0. That's pretty clear because if you know any of your multiplication tables, you know that you can count by 5s by going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. So you know that it always, any one of the 5s, whenever you're counting 5 by 5s, you're always going to be either on a 5 or a 0, right? So, again, just to repeat the rule, an integer is divisible by 5 whenever the unit's digit is a 0 or a 5. To give an example, 630 is divisible by 5 because the unit's digit, the 0 in 30, is a 0. Another example, 1185 is divisible by 5 because the unit's digit is a 5. 1,992 is not divisible by 5 because the unit's digit is a 2. It has to be either a 0 or a 5 in order for it to be divisible by 5. Alright, thanks for listening for that rule. I'm going to go back to the other. Rule number 5. An integer is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So how do we test if an, if an integer is divisible by 6? say, 1,998. First, we apply the, two, the twos test. The integer's unit's digit must be divisible by 2. In 1,998, 8 is divisible by 2, so 1,998 is as well. Next, we apply the threes test. The sum of the integer's digits must be divisible by 3. 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8 is 27. 27 is divisible by 3, so 1,998 is as well. 
Since we know that 1998 is divisible by both 2 and 3, we know it is divisible by 6 as well. Rule number 6. An integer is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. We can get an example of this. 3,393 is divisible by 9 because 3 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3 is equal to 18, which is divisible. And I'm back for the very last and very simple rule about the tens. tens. Alright, so any integer is divisible by 10 if the unit's digit is a 0. So that's pretty simple. 290 is divisible by 10 because the 0. 3,000 is divisible by 10 because the unit's digit is a 0. 312 is not divisible by 10 because there is a 2 in the unit's spots. So on and so forth. Thanks for watching. My name is Alicia, GREChicks.com. I hope that you learned a lot of these rules. Remember, you can't use a calculator on the GRE, so these things will save you a lot of time and probably raise your score. Have a great day.